I'll always have my Lola's memories. That's what matters the most. She gave me strength. She guided me. Sorry guys, um, I just have to take this right now, okay? Mom? When life gets too hard, just look back at all the good times. She's gone? I think they will come again. Nice to see you. Well, Mom and Dad don't get back together. You just have to clean in this. Time heals everything. Everything will change. You could stay here in Nepal to help me pack, or you could go back to the city with your dad. Are you okay? I just really miss her. This was hers. I hate this town. I hate how everything is right now. It's your choice. Just let me know by the end of the day. I hate that everything hurts. I can't believe you're finally moving back to the city. And I can't hold on to here forever. Could you help me do something? I can't believe she's gone. I really can't. No, she's been gone for a while. Mom, I Life goes on. I learned that from my Lola. I want to let go. She comforted me when I needed it, but she gave me strength to endure during tough times. There will never be a person as unforgettable as her, but she also taught me when to move on. Lucy, Dad's dead. You don't have to pretend anymore. God, when the funerals get so boring? You did not just say that. A moment of silence, please. Well, this was fun. I think this was our last dose with Daddy in months ago. It wasn't just me, right? Like, the wine did taste kind of funny. Dear children. Alvin, I'm the oldest. I have the right to read this. Dear children, my love for you is unquestionable, but it has come to my attention that you have been forever spoiled. Because as of now, you are all in need of an antidote, seeing that I've poisoned you all. Um, here, Daddy, you can have mine. Uh, Lucy, please. If it's not 1947 Cheval Blanc from the high peaks of Italia, then I don't want it. To Daddy. Please don't call him that. To Daddy. Or to Love Child. Or to Love Child. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. My Harvard Med sense is worth tingling. Um, what's, what's happening here? I just spoke to Daddy Beyond the Grave, my, my spiritual teacher. <coughs> Cult leader. <coughs> Spiritual teacher says that I have a gift for this. Anyway, I talked to Daddy B on the grave and he said that there's been a mistake and he wants the golden child to have it. Lucy. You were never Daddy's favorite. 
<laughs> so what's funny is you guys actually think you have a say in this. I mean, hello, Harvard met anyone? I mean, I cured cancer for God's sake. <laughs> this again. Only a brain that big could fit in a forehead that tall. You know, did you just cut up with this stupid Harvard degree? I mean, where even is Harvard? New York? Oh God. I mean, you guys aren't exactly my favorite people either. Priya is straight out of Mean Girls and Lucy, isn't it past your bedtime? I mean, you both clearly don't have the physique, skill, or drive to carry out daddy's leg. Oh, so now you're saying daddy. Dad, I said dad. No, it's fine. If you're gonna be such a good baby about it, take it. Fine, all right. Order up, shall we kiss? I mean, you guys aren't exactly my favorite people either. Priya is straight out of Mean Girls and Lucy, isn't it past your bedtime? I don't, I don't feel anything. What do you mean you don't feel anything? Are you deaf? I said I don't feel anything. Dear children, hello again. By now you have come to the realization that the poison was in fact not in the wine. As a family, family should live without, without jealousy, jealousy and, siblings and siblings should not be temporary. I orchestrated this whole scheme for my mind to reach clarity, for you to find peace and to protect my legacy. Paella was definitely the most nostalgic dish of my childhood, as my parents would always cook paella for my family when we were all together. I never liked shrimps very much, but my mom would always tell me that's how we got the pink color in our feathers. I love lechon. It's always been a favorite of mine and is widely popular in the Philippines. I remember my grandma cooked me lechon for my birthday. The pig was straight off the flame, but I was just going at it, mang tomas in one hand and knife in the other. Sancocho was a dish that my parents cooked. We always had it after Los Reyes Magos visited our family. The name should mean the three wise men of the East. We often leave dulce de leche cookies for Los Reyes Magos. Mmm. Fairy Kim Lamington, mate. The bloody bonza. Dip a bit of sponge in some chalky sauce. And chuck some coconut on the outside. Saves you getting chalky sauce all over your fur, eh? Good old apple pie. I remember coming home from school and my mom giving me a slice of pie and a tall glass of warm milk. During the holidays, my grandma and I would create the perfect apple pie for the whole family. The gooey warm apples topped with cinnamon are always delicious. Pepper good for survival. My great grandparents brought the dish from Valencia all the way to Barcelona. My mom has always kept the recipe my grandmother created dear to her heart. I don't think bobo tea came from here. My mom told me that my great-great-great-grandpa found it in a cookbook all the way from the Netherlands. They added curry powder, which made it really good to me, and gave me some sambal. It's kind of spicy though. Oh, it's well known that many traditional foods in the Philippines was inspired by the colonization in the 16th century, and lechon is no exception. Filipinos were originally roasting boar, but later on started consuming pig. <laughs> The most important part of a pie is its pie crust. To start making a handmade crust, you want to whisk salt, sugar, and flour together, then knead in the butter. Once that's done, find a circular pan and knead the dough in it, then put it in the fridge to chill. Meanwhile, you can make your delicious pie filling. Pour apples into the chilled crust, then take extra dough and roll it into a circle. Make some slits and place it on top of your apple pie. Place it in the oven for over 50 minutes. Boom, a classic apple pie. <laughs> Love. 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 How was your day, Anak? Oh, the uh, protest today went well. All oh, that protesting? For what? 
You say you hate capitalism, and yet you spend so much. And I haven't been seeing you in church recently, huh? Mom, Sundays are volunteer days. I demand for change instead of sitting silently at church. Do you know that we- You know, Anak, we also have charitable works at church, which you should still join. Will you listen to me, Anak? Mom, you never listen to me. My daughter, everyone, she has the attention span of a goldfish. She hoards so many things from Lasada and is a product of her generation. She's so woke that she even cancels her own mother. My mom, everyone, she's as religious as a nun. She loves Jesus, but loves her strong men leaders so much more. She preaches for love and peace, yet anger consumes her. I love my daughter. I love my mom, but, but I, I don't, don't understand, understand her. Oh, my God. 